number nine. What's this? Oh, it's just Zach Brown on stage doing one of his biggest hits, chicken fried with two Dominican priests. Oh. That's Father Simon Teller and Father Justin Bulger. Uh, Teller is associate chaplain at Providence College in Rhode Island, and Bulger worked there too, but he's now at Brown University. See, the Zach Brown Band was headlining the annual Late Night Madness at Providence last week, and the two priests are part of a musical group called the Hillbilly Thomists. Uh, sure. Eight Dominican friars who play Amer Americana music. Someone had the idea to get them on stage, and Zach loved it. <laughs> Father Teller said, the faith is something that is filled with joy. Priests are men of God, and we are also humans. It undermines uh, some preconceptions people have about the priesthood. And they kept up. Yes, but, you know, yep. even... When you're singing about a pair of jeans that fit just right, you yeah, know, everybody knows yeah, about that. Yeah. All right, number eight, get ready. In case you're wondering, it's bat week. And that means it is time to vote for the most beautiful bat. It's oh. sponsored by the Bureau of Land Management. And for the past two years, Oregon bats have taken home the top prize. Oregon mm, hopes to keep that streak bats. alive with this year's contestants, Hori Potter, Honey Bunches of Otis of Myotis. <laughs> Oh, that's my Otis means something? Yeah. And, okay, and the an competition affliction. started on Friday, continues through Halloween. If you want mm. to vote for your favorite beautiful bat, you just go to the uh, Bureau of Land Management's Facebook ah. or Instagram pages. Wow. Yeah. And if you have my Otis longer than seven days, <laughs> consult your yeah. doctor. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> All right, number seven, you've not lived until you've experienced the joys of an ice bath. It is a jolt of life, a zap of reality, ice cold reality, and they claim it's invigorating. Athletes use use them all the time. Medical professionals say they're good for pre or post exercise and they help reduce inflammation and soreness. Turns out you don't need to go to a fancy spa. You can get one for your home. Ugh. Some of them are basically just a large bucket. But Couldn't you those... just put some ice in your bathtub? A lot of ice. A lot of ice. Ah. Yeah, a lot of ice. Uh, but those, those can be hard to get, you know, like those fancy ones. You can spend a little more money and invest in an ice bath that's the size of a jacuzzi. Check out some of the latest options on the coolthings.com website. You don't want to run out of ice, Robin. Oh, that seems no. like a nightmare. Yeah. Wouldn't you be in and out of there in like five seconds? Do people, have you, you done have an to, ice I've, bath? I've seen a guy take an ice bath and he actually sets his like timer. Oh. You have to be in it for a couple yeah. minutes. You have to be in for a couple minutes to get the effects. Yeah. Don't ask me how I saw a guy taking an ice bath. <laughs> Let's just move yeah. on. Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Ah. Certainly, your neighbor is a lot more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. uh, number six. If this isn't the most adorable thing, then I don't know what is. Take oh, a look at this. Come on, it's a sponge. That's right. It's a bed for your kitchen sponge. We looked closely at this and wondered, what are those little white pillows for? And those are attached to the bed frame. Now, they're just decorative. The oh. company who makes this has a nice slogan for their product. Once the dishes are clean and bright, oh lay your sponge in its bed and let it sleep tight. Isn't, Isn't that, that beautiful? Oh. Mm. We should all be so lucky to mm -hmm. have one. Something tells me I might be so lucky by the end of the week if my yeah. wife is watching yeah. this. Uh, number five, if you've seen the hit Netflix show Nobody Wants This oh. or you've been on the TikTok, you know all about this, the ick. It's when your partner or potential partner does something that makes you cringe to your very core. It's a sudden feeling of repulsion. It could be something slight, and it's triggered by a specific behavior. For example, <laughs> like like vaping on the couch. <laughs> For example, you've been on a few dates with someone, things are going well, and then they go and decide to do something like chew with their mouth open or use baby talk. You know, stuff like that. Almost every time, the ick is a superficial reaction. Relationship scientists say the ick isn't the problem, it's the symptom that something else is wrong with your relationship. It's possible to get over the ick if you want that person in your life, and if you can't get over it, you're just not into them in the first place. Or chew with your mouth closed. Yeah. There's always just that one thing like you can't get, you're like, Ugh. Robin, we rub my feet just <laughs> once. <laughs>
<laughs> Just once. Don't even say it. All right, number four. Here's a clip of two gorillas in the rain at the Higashiyama Zoo in Japan. Nothing spectacular happens, but at the end, watch as one of them adds just a nice little touch. All right. Makes you wonder who's inside watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right? How about Impressive. that? I could watch that forever, right? It what is true, because they were so like them. Yeah. Yeah, some of it's just as hairy. Yeah. Uh. All right. Number three, the countdown to Halloween is on, so here's something that is creepy, something that is whimsical, and fans of the Addams Family will love it. So that's what they're selling is the remote I guess control so. yeah. thing? Yeah. yeah. Very there high production values on that commercial. Yes. How much does this, that's for on, on sale right now? Let's see. Scroll up there and let's see if that's an it's actual thing. Yeah. What's it going for? Scrolling. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. That's not bad. Jada Toys is the name of the company. Huh. How about that? All right. Uh, number two. Uh, we often mention Lake. Titicaca. Titicaca. It's in the Andes Mountains, the largest lake in South America. It straddles Bolivia and Peru. So how did it get its name? All right. Now, the terms titty, which we uh, we're talking about titties, the yeah. monkeys, if you want yeah. to. Yeah, native that, yeah. to Lake Titicaca. The yeah. titty no, monkeys no, are separate. Different. The, different. Some places yeah, the very different titty. titty. They come in all varieties. Yeah. Yeah. And the caca monkeys are definitely yeah. native to yeah. there, though. They can be translated in multiple ways. Now, titty uh, can mean anything from puma to metal. Is that or, all it means? Uh, or just titty. Uh, caca has meaning uh, of, the, of the word like crack. Yeah, that checks. Uh, but anthropologists figured out that the Native American tribe that lived there in the 1900s used the word to mean gray-colored puma. And this refers to a sacred rock on an island uh, in the lake, and that it's shaped like a puma. So think of it as a cracked puma. Oh. That is interesting all of a sudden. Anyhow, one of the most amazing things about old Titicaca <laughs> is uh, it's so high up. It's one of the highest in the world at 12,000 feet. Wow. You see how much higher what it is that? than uh, the Great Lakes. What do you know? The old Lake Titicaca. Mm, really pointing Wait. upwards, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> really. It's a lot to learn. It's high despite yeah. all the years. Yeah. Oh. No sagging there. Lake Titicaca. Huh. What do you know? <laughs> what do you think, Robin? It's just, Some lake, huh? Sometimes <laughs> I just I reevaluate my life choices <laughs> yeah. and I think, what am I doing here? And then we read a story like that. And, and you're like, this is the only reason to show up to work <laughs> These anymore. are my people. Uh, yeah. You know, without Larry here to bring the conversation <laughs> up a notch, <laughs> this show is it's really just right in the down gutter. there. Yeah. Right in the gutter. Mm -hmm. Uh, number one, here's a clip from a network television show that was a hit for NBC in the early 1960s. It's called Sing Along with Mitch. And no disrespect to Mitch Miller, who was really accomplished in many aspects of music in the music business. But again, this was a network television show. It takes all kinds of love to make the world go round. And nothing spins it faster than love for your fellow man. If I had a friend, I'd bring it in the 
Too good for the flannel. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. really selling. He probably wore that for the whole show. Wow. Boy, they're so animated too, aren't they? And they're like, Mitch, where's your flannel? I'm the star, damn it! I wear sweaters. <laughs> it's my signature. The ladies know me for the sweater vest and the eight-inch collar. Oh, hey, is there a big finale coming up? Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Uh, Miller cast his choir for their voices. Yeah, no kidding. Explaining if a guy's bald or if he's fat, that's the way he'll appear on the show. Mm. I think that the audience likes it that way. Yeah. yeah. They did uh, it lovely voices. Yeah, beautiful voices. Mm. That's the nine at nine. <laughs> and they called that the golden age of television. Oh.